This tutorial is going to show you how to record an audio file that you can then place into a Blackboard course assessment. This first part is just creating the audio file, so it's part one. Part two will go over how to actually embed the audio that you create into the Blackboard course assessment question. To begin with, the tool that I'm using is Audio Boom. Audio Boom lets you very quickly and easily create an audio file on the web without having to go through multiple steps of recording on your computer, uploading, things like that. First, go to audioboom.com. And when you're there, sign up for an account. If you already have an account, go ahead and log in. Since I already have an account, I'm going to come down and choose Login. I'm now going to click Login. You, if you haven't used Audio Boom before, will need to create an account. When Audio Boom opens, it will look much like a YouTube page or some other media source where it's providing content. But the place that you want to go is in the upper right hand corner to the little red circle. The little red circle is to record audio files directly to Audio Boom. In the center right here, it gives you an option to upload an audio file that you've recorded on your computer. That's fine if you want to do that, but Audio Boom allows you to record directly to the web. So I'm going to come up to record at the very top and click on it. You'll notice now that you can kind of see a waveform that's appearing and you also have these very simple controls. Right now it's not recording because you see no time lapse. To actually record a file you want to click on the record button. In a second here I'm gonna click on record and say a little bit of something made up for question one. Here's where you would actually read the question that you want to record. This is question one I'm recording right now. Before I stop, I'm going to click the pause button. Now, my audio file is recorded. If I want to play back and listen to it, I click on the play button. This is question one. I'm recording right now. Before I stop, I'm going to click the pause button. And as you can see, you can hear what was recorded. Before you go any further, even though you've recorded it, you have to save it to Audio Boom over here on the right hand side. I'm going to click Save. And now I'm going to title this. For the purposes of this video, I'm just going to type Question 1. I could add a description. But quite honestly, if all you're doing is embedding this audio file and not creating something that you're going to share apart from a Blackboard course assessment, there's really no need to put anything in there. You can also skip category. Before you leave this page, you want to click on Publish. That will make this audio file public on the web. And you can see right now I've got my new recording created. I'm going to create one more just so that you can see what it looks like when there's multiple recordings. So I'm going to come back up here to record. And now I'm going to record my second question, making sure to click the pause button when I am finished. I can play it back and listen to it. And now I'm going to record my second question, making sure to click the pause button when I am finished. And you can see that the audio recording is pretty much how I like it. So I'm going to click Save. I'm going to title this Question 
two. I'm going to skip these two things and I'm going to click publish. And you can see I have question two now saved. One last thing before I end this recording about how to record different audio files, I'm going to show you a third question. I'm going to once again come back up to record. This is the third question. I'm going to pause it and you can see right now my audio file is only four seconds long. If I was to click record again before clicking save, it's going to record in addition to what I've already recorded. Here's some additional recording. You notice that the timestamp started at 4 and is continuing on up to 14. Now if I go back and play it, this is the third question. Here's some additional recording. You notice that the timestamp started at 4 and is continuing on up to 14. So it's a combined audio recording now if I don't click save. But if I do something that I want to go back and just start over, I want to make sure and click discard. So I'm going to discard this. You'll notice the timestamp goes from 14 back to 0. And now I'm back to the beginning. I record question 3 again. This is question 3. What does this sound like? I can listen to it. This is question 3. What does this sound like? And now I'm going to save it. Typing the title, skipping these two, and clicking publish. And that's the tutorial on how to create audio files in Audio Boom. The next tutorial will show you how to take these audio files and then embed them into Blackboard question assessments.